Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Fazekas, the Night Sky Guy, here to tell you all about the best sky watching events for the year 2020. We're going to look at when, where, and how to get your best views. First up, on the night of January 3rd into January 4th morning, look for the quadrinated meteor showers to peak. This is one of the best showers of the year and this particular year will be very good because the moon will be out of the way for most of the showers peak. Now, the year kicks off with the quadrinated meteor shower and the peak only lasts for just a few hours, but it's one of the briefest meteor showers of the year that can be very intense as well. And it's most often filled with dazzling fireballs that are larger and brighter than the average meteor shower. Now, you can expect anywhere from 25 to up to 100 shooting stars per hour during maximum hours in the overnight period of January 3rd into January 4th pre-dawn hours. And those numbers, those hourly rates will really depend on where exactly you're located. Now, the next amazing event is the moon pairing up with the planet Mars. This will happen on February 18th. Early risers stepping outside before dawn on February 18th are going to get a really amazing view of the moon actually eclipsing directly the planet Mars. Most areas across North America, for instance, are going to be able to see Mars disappear behind the moon. This is going to be very spectacular and it'll happen just before local sunrise in the southeastern sky. And then it'll reappear on the other side a little more than two hours later. Now, the exact time of this will really depend uh, on where you're located across the continent of North America. But it will be an early morning hour event for sure. Early April is going to see the second planet from the Sun, Venus, raining our skies as a brilliant beacon. This extremely bright star that's going to look like is hovering low in the western sky as soon as night falls, that is going to be the planet Venus. It's also known as the evening star and it, you're going to get amazing views from April for the next and throughout the next few months but particularly on the evenings of April 2nd and 3rd, it's going to be very interesting because the planet is going to be very close, or in fact, appearing right within the edge of the Pleiades star cluster, one of the brightest and closest star clusters visible to the naked eye. And if you have a pair of binoculars or telescopes, this view is going to be incredible. Mark that down on your calendar, April 2nd and April 3rd, when Venus, super bright in the skies, will be running right through the star cluster Pleiades. Next up is a ring of fire solar eclipse. Now this is the first of two eclipses this year that will be visible from uh, regions in the Middle East, Africa, Northern India, Southern China, Taiwan, and the Pacific Ocean. North America, unfortunately, will miss this event because it'll be nighttime when this event is occurring. A solar eclipse occurs when there's a new moon, meaning that the moon is actually passing directly across the face of the sun. And it's not going to cover it entirely this time because the moon is a little bit farther away than average from the Earth. And this will result in uh, the moon being slightly smaller than the disk of the sun. And so you'll see this very beautiful dark silhouette of the moon. And there'll be a thin ring of sunlight that shines around the moon. And this will result in an annular eclipse basically a beautiful ring-shaped eclipse or what's popularly known as the ring of fire eclipse. During the same time, a partial eclipse is going to be visible virtually all across Asia, Africa, and Northern Australia. The next big event definitely will be the Perseid meteor shower peaking on the night of August 12th into the early morning hours of August 13th. Now you're not going to want to miss this show because it is going to be spectacular with dozens of shooting stars per hour visible across the overnight skies late in August 12th into the early morning hours of August 13th. 
Unlike in 2019, when we had a nearly full moon fill the sky with a brilliant light, uh, drowned out actually most of the meteors, the moon this time will be in the sky for only the last part of the night. And therefore, it's gonna allow stargazers to see anywhere from 40 to 100 shooting stars per hour during the peak times, late August the 12th into the early morning hours of August 13th. Next up is the red planet. On October 13th, it will be the biggest and brightest in our skies. And it'll be a great show, visible even with the naked eye. Now, the year 2020 is gonna be really spectacular for the red planet, and especially on the night of October 13th, when Mars reaches its closest and brightest to the sun. And this will mean that it will be very unusually bright in our skies, even brighter than the giant planet Jupiter. And in fact, Mars will be the third brightest object in our night skies after the moon and planet Venus. Next up, for those that like Halloween treats, on October 31st, look for a mythical blue moon to be hanging high in the sky on Halloween night. This will be really cool because blue moons are generally uncommon, rising once every two or three years, but a blue moon on Halloween is particularly rare. If you miss out on this particular blue moon, you'll have to wait until the year 2039 for the next chance to see one occur on Halloween night. Next up on December 13th into the morning of December 14th is the annual Geminid meteor shower. Never fails to please, but arguably this is the best shower of the year since the moon is going to be mostly out of the way for prime time viewing of this shower. Depending on where you are viewing this shower, if you can get out of the city into the countryside, you'll see somewhere from 60 to 150 shooting stars per hour. If you're stuck in the city, a still amazing 30 to 40 shooting stars visible with the Geminids on the night of December 13th into the morning hours of December 14th. No telescopes or binoculars needed for this amazing show. On the heels of the Geminid media shower on December 14th is the second solar eclipse of this year. On December 14th, the only total solar eclipse of the year will cause day to turn to night on December 14th. While most of the eclipse is gonna occur in unpopulated waters of the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean, the path of totality where you actually see the entire disk of the sun disappear behind the silhouette of the moon will occur right across South America. Most of the locations that will be able to witness the total solar eclipse will be very close to the areas that saw the only total eclipse happen in 2019. Finally, on December 21st is the granddaddy of all close encounters between two of the brightest planets in our skies. So mark your calendars on December 21st in the final astronomical event of the year, you'll see Jupiter and Saturn making an extremely close encounter in the sunset of winter. When the two planets appear this close in the skies, astronomers really call this a conjunction. In fact, it's a superior conjunction, a really amazing event where you'll see the two of them being so close, in fact, they'll be only one fifth the diameter of the full moon. And according to the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, we haven't seen such a close encounter between these two planets since the year 1623. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, clear skies.